Charlotte and Dylan are throwing a party with all the hottest toys. And all the most popular okay. students are here. Nick the Nerd even brought his retro yo-yo. He's scaring the guests. He's like a toy museum. Yikes. The Nerd ruined the party without even coming in. Dylan feels uncomfortable. If we shake him, will we find a newer toy? Shaking him is more fun than partying with him. Nick just met a girl who makes his heart skip a beat. Ruby makes him totally tongue-tied. And it's mutual. Love is doing your homework together. Growing a plant in a week is harder than it seems. They only grew a tiny little sapling. Dylan and Helen are laughing at them. Nick is tired of getting mocked. Science will show these bullies what's up. Anyone can make a cactus in five minutes. Growing a real plant takes time, love, and photosynthesis. You could make this even out of an old sock. You don't need to water it, but you should wash it. So stinky. Did the nerds beat the popular kids? Money isn't everything. Creativity is important too. As soon as they sat down to work, they got a notification about the game starting. We can't miss it. This is so exciting. Look how tense it is. The athlete makes a risky move and pulls it off. The chess world hasn't seen a battle like this in a while. Nobody expected the Copa Blanca defense. This game will go down in history. Ruby and Nick let their guard down. The popular kids are in trouble. Helen and Dylan love bullying pranks. But how can they stop watching this game? Grandmaster Bishop is in peak form today. He beat the other chess master after just 10 minutes of play. Yay! Now we can get back to our crafts. But Dylan and Helen hid everything. Help them find their tools again. They're getting scared that it was ghosts. Comment below and tell them where to look. Did you find them? Thanks, you're the best. It's sad to watch a fun party you weren't invited to. I know, right? Nerds are people too. They deserve to be invited. Nick is so mad that his throat got dry. And so did the tab. Nick is even angrier now. Let's call the plumber. Not like that, Nick. Come on. Don't break more stuff. Hold on. This looks like a pop tube. Now the nerds have their own. It's hard to control Mother Nature, but we have to work together. Just like Dylan and Helen plan their pranks together. They want to introduce the nerds to their spider, Bill. He's very friendly. He has eight hands for you to shake. And he gives the best hugs. The prank failed. Why would you be scared of arachnids? Dylan should read a book about how to get rid of the hiccups. He's not that cool after all. <laughs> Nick and Ruby want to earn some money to buy chemicals for their experiments. They're working as cleaners at a cafe. That's where all the great scientists began. Not really, but still. Dylan and Helen don't think so. Their parents are lawyers and they buy their kids all their toys. You don't have to buy them. Ruby can turn a sponge into a cool toy. It's easy, and you can play and work at the same time. Dylan's dad plays Brawl Stars in the middle of trial. Ruby's no lawyer, but she doesn't want to lose. What a tough cookie. Nick is proud of his girlfriend. Look, you'll never have anything like this. Ruby and Nick can just be proud of themselves. They did great. Here's their paycheck. No need for parents. It's hard to get into a private party. Nick is swapping their tickets for toys. No one will recognize them like this. Dad had to shave his mustache, and Ruby had to trim her dog for this. It'll all grow back. They just have to get in. And they made it. So this is how the other half lives. They don't want to get attention. Dress like that? Good luck. Dylan is trying to pull off a great trick with Helen and a bubble. 
But it's not working. Not enough soap water. Nick and Ruby have to save the party. Maybe then they'll be popular. They're smart and great at inventions. Cut up some straws and glue them together. Make a cool shape. This is looking pretty creative. A little soapy water plus a hair dryer, and the party is awesome. This is so much fun. Dylan is getting suspicious. Nick got busted. Oops. He cries a lot. He's even flooded his neighbors before. Being a genius is hard work. He's glad to have such a supportive girlfriend who'll give him drinks and chess. Ugh, wrong stream. They have cool new toys again. His head hurts. Ruby wants to cheer him up somehow. But she doesn't even have to pay for it. Just use one ball, one cup, and five minutes of your time. Oh, wow. Look at this awesome toy. It's a pet hamster that'll never bite you. Nick isn't crying anymore. Ruby did a great job. And Nick is really grateful. Nick is in an urgent need of a new toy. But where do you get one? Just like an apple accidentally fell on Newton's head, Nick stumbled upon his dog's old beeping rubber toy. It's filled with his mom's lotion. She clearly won't be excited about it. But the guy will have a super trendy toy. At the same time, super soft hand skin. This discovery must be shared in the internet right off. Ugh, our young engineer is so sloppy. There's a new guard at the party. It's our old friend Nick in disguise. He's not letting the first guest in. That's his right. Now Ruby and Nick have a way to get in. This is so much fun. Dylan gave Helen an awesome choker. It must be super expensive. We need to have a drink to celebrate. Ruby's getting jealous. All Nick gives her are rubber sticks. And all she wants is a choker. Nick can make one. There's some lemonade left in the straw. It's tickling Ruby's neck. Making a choker is easy. Nick is like a knight and Ruby is his princess. She's so happy. She really lucked out with her boyfriend. Everyone else is getting embarrassed. Dylan wants to make this party even more lit. Now it's a PJ party. Let's turn up. Wow, Dylan has Huggy Wuggy. Everyone is thrilled. Ruby and Nick got here without an invite, but they're not empty handed. They brought Twister. Maybe now they'll be able to make it in. This game is full of twists. Nick has to trim Dylan's pajamas. That's horrible. But everyone is still having fun. Except Dylan. His pajamas are ventilated now. Nick and Ruby have a new plan for how to get in. First, they need to make Dylan look bad. And when he freaks out, Ruby will take the hit and make everything right. Meanwhile, Nick will empty out the bean bags. Dylan can't take this much humiliation. Or this much. He won't survive this. You must be wondering what the nerds are up to now that they have stuffing and fabric. This must be a very sneaky plan. That's what the disguises and diplomats are for. What diplomats? Is this a new invention? It's actually Huggy Wuggy. Dylan isn't the coolest guy here anymore. Here he is. He wants to find whoever ruined his party. But he's not a great detective. The trail led him to the captain of the football team. Dylan is furious. Touchdown! Rich people have everything, and they never share. They're so greedy. Everyone is so hungry. And they have so much food. But it's all for Dylan and Helen. How do they still have friends? Those are nice coolers. They must be expensive. Here's Nick. He needs empty packaging. Why? It's just trash. 
That's just what you think. This trash can get a second chance. Wow, Nick is making a cooler like Helen's. It's pretty easy. Add some raspberry flavored sugar water and you're done. Awesome. Now we can have some expensive water. There's a surprise for Dylan in the bathroom. He wasn't expecting all this. Dylan is trying to get popular again using a cool Whoa. new toy. <laughs> Helen is impressed. Here are the nerds. Dylan has something special for them. He's still mad about the ruined party. But the nerds' glasses are strong enough that they notice the water balloons on the chair. Hey, nice! Dylan doesn't think so. Uh -huh. Ruby and Nick are doing something nerdy again. If we put glitter in the balloons, we'll have an awesome toy. Just put in some work and you'll get what you want. Then cut holes in another balloon. And put the first one in it. That's what we did! This toy is awesome. Dylan is mad. Bullies hate losing and getting bullied. That makes people respect them less. This isn't over. Dylan is greeting guests at another party. Nick brought a huge gift. And that's how he got let in. All the guests want to know what it is. Is it all the members of BTS? No, it's just Ruby. Why is everyone happy? They all hate her. Oh, they were just surprised. And she brought toys. Now she and Nick are the stars of the party. Everyone loves the new royal couple. Want to watch a chess game? What? Oh, no. Let's see where Ruby and Nick will spend their summer. Ruby, the owner, notices the rich visitor immediately and offers him a VIP service. This is her chance to get rich. And this is your chance to like and subscribe. Jim is already relaxing. Here's a generous tip for you. Jim's friend is trying to get through to him. Jim totally forgot about his scheduled video call while he was riding the water slides. But the conference can't be rescheduled. Jim is freaking out. His colleague is stressing too. Jim makes it out and asks for forgiveness for being late. Ruby helps him. Oops, failure. Ruby panics and runs away. Jim has to explain himself somehow. These slides show our company's growth. We've earned a lot. Great, we have a deal. You can relax and get back to your vacation. Wait! It's Jim's colleague. He's at the water park too. Jim can't figure out how to open the locker. He is mad and about to give up. He doesn't have time for this, and he's out of sunscreen. Ruby doesn't want to lose this client, so she gives him her own. That's better. Wait, this isn't sunscreen. It's hairspray. Jim can't move. Ruby has employees for that. Jim doesn't even need to move. Phew, Ruby really locked her customer down. Jim is on an important business call. Eight figures are at stake. He's about to fall into the pool. Good thing Ruby is here. She makes a boat and Jim just floats across the pool on top of it. Ruby saved Jim's business again. Jim had fun in the pool, but he forgot to empty his pockets. His money and his phone are soaking wet. But the sun will dry it out. He has to go. A few hours later, Jim is relaxing again. But he forgot all about the wet money. Ruby wants to get close to the cash too. 
She offers Jim a massage and starts ripping the bills off. Jim is happy and Ruby earns some cash. Jim is having fun on the water slides again. He comes out of the water like a god. Oof, the concrete is too hot and Jim's feet are sensitive. He calls Ruby and asks her to solve the problem ASAP. She can't think of anything better than a money carpet. Jim likes this a lot. He's walking on hundred dollar bills. Even though it hurts Ruby to let go of this much cash, she should pick them up. But they got blown away! Jim never stops working. He asks Ruby to fix the sun so he'll tan faster. Ruby has a special app on her phone that'll make the sun burn harder. Now he can work and tan at the same time. But he has a print from his tie. Farmer's tans are out, business tans are in. Jim is about to go on a slide, but Ruby won't let him. His gold jewelry is a safety risk. He'll have to give everything to Ruby. Jim's accessories would fill a whole treasure chest. He goes down the slide, and Ruby runs after him with all his heavy jewelry. Jim is having fun. And Ruby is having an asthma attack. Running a water park isn't as fun as being a millionaire. Jim comes down and meets his jewelry by the pool. He didn't even tip Ruby. Jim wants to chill by the pool. He also wants his gold accessories to shine. He needs to find the right angle. He finds it, then goes to sleep. But his gold chains melted in the heat. Now he'll have to throw them away. Or melt them into something new. Having fun can be tiring too. You need a break sometimes. Jim doesn't trust anyone with his case of money. He's actually hungry. Ruby rushes to help her rich client with his dinner. But the cafe is closed. She'll have to get creative. What can she cook for Jim? Oops, uh, that could have been bad. What if Jim doesn't like eggs? He fell asleep. Ruby will never know. Looks like eggs are the only option. But where can she fry them? Jim's gold suitcase got so hot in the sun that you could fry an egg on it. He woke up. Here's his lunch. Jim is happy and ready to pay. But what's up with his suitcase? Ah, who cares? Jim wants to swim with some fish. <gasps> but the pool is empty. What? Fish aren't allowed in this water park. It's a rule. Jim doesn't care about rules. He wants to see some fish. Ruby will have to think of something. Oh, perfect. Here are the fish. Jim and Ruby are happy. Ruby's head hurts, but whatever. Jim swam too deep and he is drowning. He needs help. Ruby is freaking out. The lifeguard is on vacation. She'll have to save Jim herself. 
she saves his gold bag first, then his gold accessories. She didn't even find Jim. The water park might get shut down for this. Wait, what's in the bag? No way! It's Jim, safe and sound! This is the tallest, scariest slide in this water park. Jim is scared of it, but Ruby cheers him on. It's just a slide, don't be scared. Jim is terrified of heights. Every step is only worse. He's about to give up, but Ruby won't let him. Now they're going down together. Ruby is having fun, but Jim is terrified. Jim is furious. Why didn't Ruby show him the slide with money instead of water? Because it's not done yet. It won't be done for another 10 years. Jim is willing to invest in the construction, but it's still not enough. Will Ruby get out of this somehow? Yes, a VR slide is the hottest new thing. It's just like the real thing, but even better. Ruby has an urgent delivery for Jim. It seems really crucial. No way! Jim is bankrupt. He has no money left at all. But now he has to pay for his time at the water park. Ruby can find a job for someone like Jim. He owes her a lot, so he's starting in 10 jobs at once. Enjoy your new career! Hey guys! Thanks for all your awesome comments! You really inspire us every day! Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Troom Troom Trick!